In this video, you will learn about how you can prepare test data using a non-relational data source that is a flat file. Many applications rely on non-relational data sources and use flat files, for example, XML, JSON, or WSDL files as their data sources, schema definitions, or media formats for data transfer. Unfortunately, in most of the cases, testers struggle to find high-quality test data that can help them cover different business scenarios confidently. That's where the CATDM portal can help test data engineers work with different flat file types and generate rich synthetic data, which testers can then use to confidently perform comprehensive testing on their applications. Before you start the process demonstrated in this video, ensure that you have created a CATDM portal project and version. A CATDM portal project acts as a container and provides the context in which you perform other related operations in the portal. Also ensure that you have created a data generator. A generator helps you in the process of writing data generation rules. Finally, you must also ensure that you have created a connection profile. By creating a connection profile, you establish a connection with a staging database where the tables that you derive from the input source file are stored. This diagram helps you understand the overall flow. The steps mentioned in this diagram are applicable for the XSD, XML, JSON, WSDL, and RR pair, that is request response pairs, file types. For the demonstration purpose, we've used the XSD file type the first step in this process is to register the XSD file object. When you register the file, it gets uploaded to the CATDM portal. The second step is to create and register derived tables based on the registered XSD file object. This step creates a schema in the relational database. In the third step, you use the associated XML file to import the sample data into the empty tables. The fourth step lets you define data generation rules. These rules include expressions that help you generate synthetic data. After you define your rules, you are now ready to publish the data into the derived tables in the staging database. Finally, in the last step, you export the generated data into XML files. Testers can now use these generated XML files to test the required application. So let's see how a test data engineer, Joe Smith, is able to generate test data for the testers by following the steps shown in this diagram. Joe Smith, who is a test data engineer, has this sample XML file. This XML file represents a typical online purchase order information that gets generated in the system when an order is placed. Joe also has this XSD file that is related to the purchase order XML. And Joe gets started with the task of preparing test data where the input is in the form of a flat file. Joe has logged into the CATDM portal using his credentials. This is the project purchase and version 1.0 that he has already created as part of the prerequisites. Similarly, purchase generator is the data generator and purchase profile is the connection profile that are also already defined by him. To register the XSD file, Joe expands modeling and clicks objects. He clicks the register new objects button, selects XSD as the object type, specifies the object name provides the location of the XSD file, and clicks the register button. The success message indicates that Joe has successfully registered the XSD file. Now, Joe must generate a relational schema in the staging database. He clicks the created object, selects the root element, selects the connection profile where the staging database is available. When he clicks the create and register tables button, a job request is submitted. He goes back to the derived tables section and verifies that the file is converted into a set of tables. However, these tables are empty. Joe verifies this by navigating to the data generator. Joe must add some sample data to these tables. He goes back to the derived tables section and clicks the import data icon. He specifies the location of the XML file that includes the sample data. Selects the import to generator option. He selects the associated purchase generator and clicks the import button. Again, a job is submitted. 
he navigates to the data generator page and finds that all the tables include the same data that was present in the sample XML file. Joe is now well set to write data generation rules. Joe first clicks the relational edit button and selects both the options so that he can automatically convert all default primary key values into an expression that generates a unique sequential number whenever he publishes the data. And secondly, he can also establish foreign key references in the related tables wherever that primary key is being referenced. Now he starts with the remaining data generation rules for other required columns. He clicks in the order date cell and then clicks the paintbrush icon called Data Painter. The Data Painter dialog helps in the process of writing rules. For the order date column, Joe uses the add ran d days function. This function generates a random date based on the parameters that are specified. For this use case, the requirement is to get all purchase orders that were generated in the last 20 days. So, Joe writes this expression as at add ran d days s date 20 to 1, which implies that the function takes the current system date and subtracts a random number between 1 and 20. After generating the expression, Joe verifies it by using the validate button. Similarly, Joe follows the same process to write rules for all the relevant columns. These are the final rules that Joe has written for all the required columns. Joe clicks the Publish button, enters the expression for the item table, because as per the business rule, each generated XML file must contain at least one item and not more than 10 items. Joe now selects the connection profile and the target schema name in the staging database where the data is published. He also specifies the value in the repeat field and clicks the Publish button. He again verifies the status of the job. This implies that the portal has generated 10 files that include the data based on the generation rules. Joe now has the data that he had modeled. Joe performs the export operation so that he can download all the generated XML files because that is the format that testers need to test the application. He clicks the export button, verifies the status of the job, and then clicks the download icon. All the generated files are downloaded in a .zip file Joe opens the file and accesses a few random files to verify that the generated file includes the correct data that is fit for the purpose. In this video, you saw how a test data engineer successfully demonstrated the test data generation capability of the CATDM portal when the data source is a flat file.